I want to clear up what appears to me to be an almost universal conceptual misunderstanding. You've heard it over and over. To hit slice serve come around the side of the ball. Sorry, wrong. Stay for a moment and I'll explain why. The typical slice serve instruction will tell you that slice is generated by coming around the side of the ball. The demonstration that follows almost always shows a serve that is hit by a right-handed player wide to the deuce court. And it certainly does look like the racket is coming around the side of the ball. But it just isn't so. Indeed, it can't be so. As I understand physics, the ball will go, can only go, in the direction that the face of the racket head is pointing at the instant of contact. The slice serve wide to the deuce court does not go there because your racket head came around the side of the ball. If your racket head did strike the side of the ball or any place close to it, the ball would go way beyond the side of the court for a fault. Properly struck, the ball goes wide but stays within the service box because your racket head struck the back of the ball. Let me explain. I think the confusion here arises from a misunderstanding about what is the back of the ball. Those who say the slice is hit by coming around the side of the ball see the back of the ball as being here. And that is true if, and this is the big if, you are hitting straight ahead towards the center service line or close to it. But if you're hitting wide to the due service box that way, well now the back of the ball is here, slightly, but only slightly, to the right of where it was when you were hitting in the neighborhood of the center service line. This makes perfect sense because the back of a ball is determined by the direction in which the ball travels. And if you want to hit in a certain direction, you have to strike the back of the ball as determined by the direction in which you want to hit. Think of it this way. If you hit a slice serve down the tee, you point the hitting face of your racket straight ahead in the direction you want to hit the ball, right? And all you do to impart slice is, a, is come across the back of the ball. And I emphasize, you come across the back of the ball. You don't come around the side of the ball. Well, it's exactly the same if you're a righty aiming to slice wide to the deuce service box. You must point the face of your racket at contact towards the left side of the deuce service box and come across what is now the realigned back of the ball. Of course, everything I'm saying about righties serving wide slice to the deuce box applies equally to lefties hitting slice wide to the add box. As usual, you lefties have to conceive of everything in mirror image. May it be the most taxing difficulty you face in life. And here is the big takeaway. You always hit the back of the ball. It is impossible to hit anything but the back of the ball because, as already noted, the direction in which the ball travels defines the back of the ball. When you hit a slice serve, you are simply coming across the back of the ball. Now, having heard all this, you may yet find it helpful to think of the slice serve 
as requiring that you come around the side of the ball. If so, by all means, think of it that way, but understand that it is not what you should actually try to do. And on the other hand, visualizing what actually happens, the racket coming across the back of the ball, may be the conceptualization that helps you. And for a very similar take on this topic, see Ian Westerman's Essential Tennis video, the link to which I put in the notes below. So much for the slice serve, at least for the time being. If you like this video, please click the thumb up button below. If you're not already subscribing to the channel and would like to receive Cross Court Rabbit videos as they issue, click the subscribe button. Of course, feel free to leave a comment. And as always, keep playing the greatest of all games, and I'll see you again soon.